Good day guys. So today we will be doing a tutorial on how to add logos to objects in Blender. I will be taking you through the process, a simple process, very quick and easy. And I will show you how I was able to add these logos onto these objects. Very, very simple. So just stay tuned and watch right through the video. And also please watch through because I have something else to show you at the end. Thank you. Okay, so here is the logo I'll be using. As you can see, it's a very simple logo I created for this tutorial. And I'm using Coral Draw 2021. This is the main software that I use. I don't really use a lot of Adobe products, but I use Coral Draw and other design software. So here I created the logo. As you can see, I have various colors. I have the orange logo with the yellow background. I have the red with the red background and I also have the green with the green background. Sorry, the green background, yes. So this is what we'll be using and we will send this over into Blender. And the reason why I didn't export these objects as alpha is because I want to use background with the logo. The reason why I have background with the logo is because when I send this over into Blender, I will match the color of the bottle with the background of the logo. So the logo will blend into the bottle. It may sound confusing, but let me show you how this is done. Let's go over into Blender. So we export this as PNG or JPG, and now we're going to Blender. So here I have my can in Blender. It's just like any other Coca-Cola can or any other beverage. So let's go into shading and we're going to new. So here we will be adding our textures. Let's name the material of the, of the can. We'll call it tin texture. That'll be the outer texture. And now we'll make another material. And this is going to be for the label so this will be label texture so now let's go into label texture and we will be UV unwrapping the part where the label is going so we'll be using the Q projection so let's let's select the area where the label is going to be placed so I want this top area here so let's select this area Okay, so the area is finally selected. Now let's assign the label texture to that area. And let's also apply a color so we can differentiate the difference between the label and the tin. So now that we have selected the label, let's press U and use the Q projection to UV unwrap the label area. Now let's add in our label. So look for it wherever you saved it. Okay, so I'll be using the yellow label that I created. So I'll be adding that into the base color. And when I add it, boom, you see, the label is placed onto the bottle. But we're not finished yet. As you can see, the edges are kind of distorted. We have these extra faces showing on the edges. So let us remove those extra faces on the edges because we just want that single object in the center. So those two, half cut faces at the end we're going to delete those so let's delete those and fix the label so select the distorted end and let's assign the tin texture to that end so we selected that one side we assign it in texture so we can remove those bad ends select this other side and assign the tin texture so all we have left is the logo we want in the center of the bottle. So now let us just fix the UV. Let us scale it and try to get it properly. So now that we have fixed the label, you can see how nice it looks in the center. Now let us add the color onto the bottle. So this is the part I was trying to tell you earlier. We are going to blend the color of the bottle with the background of the label. So we just use the color picker and click onto the logo background in our folder. And as you can see, it blends in with the logo. 
So this is what I was trying to explain to you earlier. Good. So now you can see we have the label placed perfectly onto the bottle. So now all you have to do is tweak the bottle however you want to. Do you want a metallic texture? You just fix the tin texture and the label texture. And you see we have a metallic texture. You can enhance the roughness a bit just to get it looking like if it's a can and just fix it properly. And as you can see, look, a very simple and easy way to get your logo onto a bottle. Very, very simple. Other tutorials show you how to use like, you know, shrink wrap modifier to like paste a plane onto the object, but that comes with a lot of problems. So having your logo actually embedded into the object is much, much better. So this is how it is done. And I hope you enjoy this simple trick on how to add logos to an object. So thank you for watching. And by the way, don't go anywhere as yet. Remember, I have to show you some stuff. Are you a fan of content creation or artistic media? If so, then check out my merch designs. I have various types of merch from phone cases to t-shirts to laptop sleeves, clocks, pillows, you name it. So just check the link in the description to my store and you can see what you like and you can purchase anything that you want. So thank you for watching my tutorial and please subscribe and stay tuned for more content. Thank you very much for your support.